One common discussion that I've seen come up with watch collectors pertains to what the possible negatives are that comes along with being in this hobby. And usually the cost involved with being a collector is mentioned as one of the main ones. But recently I've discovered the worst part of being a watch collector. And that is having to sell a watch that you don't want to part with. But that's what I'm here to talk about today. To make a long story short, I am selling my Omega Speedmaster. Now, it's not because I want to, but the situation is either I do that or I start diving into savings that took years of hard work to build up. And it feels like selling a watch is probably the lesser of two evils. Now, hopefully the COVID situation will come to an end sooner rather than later and work will return back to normal for my family and I won't have to go through this again in the future. My fingers are crossed. I've posted the watch for sale in a few places and several interested parties have asked for more detailed pictures and more information about the watch, so I figured why not make a video. It has been a while after all. And to everyone that's reached out and asked where have I been, look, I just needed to take a break from YouTube for a little bit. It's not that I'm gone permanently. You can expect to see new videos rolling out on a more regular basis pretty soon. Now, I am asking $4,000 for this full set Omega Speedmaster Moonwatch. It's still under warranty for three years. It was purchased at an Omega authorized dealer. It's in fantastic condition and it includes some extras, like an upgraded adjustable clasp and an additional Omega NATO, which I'll get to in a moment. But first, I wanted to address some comments that I got from several people about my asking price. Specifically, people were saying that the price is just way too high for a pre-owned Speedmaster. So this is going to be the educational portion of the video. The short version is no, it's really not a high price. Now the longer version goes something like this. A bunch of guys have been insisting that you can get brand new Omega Speedmasters from an Omega AD for the same $4,000 that I'm asking for my pre-owned watch. And if that's true, all I can say is you should go buy it today. Meanwhile, back in reality, the MSRP on these watches are $5,350. No one is discounting these watches by 25% brand new from authorized dealers. No one I can find anyway. I even went ahead and called a few authorized dealers that I know, and they all kind of laughed when I asked if they're selling new Speedmasters for $4,000. Now, the Omega Boutique, they said no discounts whatsoever, period. The other two ADs that I spoke to said that they'd do 10% maybe for new customers, or possibly a little bit better for a high-volume client with a pre-existing relationship, but that's about it. And of course, gray market dealers like Joma Shop and David SW, they aren't even selling new watches that low. Joma is at like $4,650 and David SW was about a hundred bucks higher. So no, I don't think you're getting brand new Speedmasters for 4K. This isn't 2016. Four years have passed and those days are probably long gone. Now my watch obviously isn't brand new and some people insisted that you could get pre-owned Omega Speedmaster Moon watches for $3,000. So what are used watches actually selling for? Well, in looking at some recent completed listings on eBay, I see pre-owned watches selling for as much as $4,000 to $4,200. And that doesn't even include shipping. And did I mention that my price of $4,000 includes shipping? FedEx next day, in fact, and that costs about 100 bucks. Oh yeah, and don't forget, I have those extras, an Omega adjustable clasp that costs $250 and an additional Omega NATO. Those are 150 bucks at the boutique. Even looking at current asking prices on Chrono24, I could not find a single pre-owned Omega Speedmaster Moonwatch in the United States much below $4,000. So yeah, again, it's not 2016 anymore, guys. Those prices aren't reality, not for a near mint full set moon watch, two years old, still under warranty. Can you find ones for about $3,600? Yeah, probably. I did see a few on eBay's completed listings in that price range, but those are going to have some wear and tear. They're probably not going to still be under warranty. They're going to be older watches. It's not going to have the upgraded clasp or the extra strap. And look, if you don't want those things, I'm happy to negotiate price. I'll keep them and cut a couple hundred bucks off the asking price. But please don't insult me and tell me that I'm trying to price gouge people because I think that I'm some sort of YouTube pseudo celebrity who thinks that he can overcharge his fans. Meanwhile, 
about the watch. Like I said, it is a full set. It has the big Omega luggage case. All of the papers and the warranty cards are included, and they're dated August 2018. The original owner's manual is obviously also a part of the set as well. Inside the luggage case, we have all of the accessories that you would expect, and we even have some you wouldn't, like the original shipping coffin box and the hang tag. Not anything super special, but you usually wouldn't get that box with your watch. I asked the dealer to include it specifically when I bought mine, and I've still got the packaging with the part numbers for the upgraded Omega Clasp and the end links as well, in case you might ever need to replace that clasp, it'll be easy to find it. We also have the Omega Paperweight Medallion, that's included, and so is the Omega Speedmaster themed magnifier loop, if you ever need to look at your watch up close and personal. The watch came with two sets of extra spring bars, those are there as well, as well as the two straps that come with the watch. Both are unopened and unworn, they're in perfect new condition. I also have the original clasp that came on the watch and the extra links, and those are mint and unworn as well. And of course, the package comes with the Omega Spring Bar tool, which I've never opened or used, but it is here. Now I mentioned I also have an extra NATO strap. These are about 150 bucks at the Omega Boutique, and this one is unworn for all intents and purposes. See, I bought it to do a review video a long time ago, so it's got the stickers removed, but it's clean and it's like new. Underneath the luggage, there's the pair of Omega books. First is the instruction manual for resizing or removing your bracelet and for installing the NATO straps. The second book is about the history of the Speedmaster and the NASA space program. These books are in mint condition as well. As for the watch, the only wear and tear that I can find is a few minor scratches on the clasp. The Hesalite crystal, it's clean and scratch free, and so is the aluminum tachymeter bezel insert. The adjustable Omega clasp that I put on this watch does look really good on camera, and I couldn't even really pick up the scratches, but if you look at it really closely in person, it does have some faint, slight desk diver marks, but it's really not bad. The bracelet links are all perfect as far as I can tell without any marks whatsoever. I'm actually just a little bit shocked that I managed to go two years with this watch without putting more wear and tear on the clasp or bracelet. As far as the case goes, all of the polished and brushed surfaces look great. There's no dings or gouges in the metal and really nothing much in the way of swirl marks or surface scratches that I can see either. So if you're not familiar with this clasp that I used to upgrade the watch with, it has a push button on the underside and it lets you micro adjust the size of the bracelet in and out with the push of a button. I think it's a must have upgrade, at least in my opinion, because the stock clasp only has two single micro adjust points. It makes it really hard to get a good fit. And of course, this is an official Omega part. It's not aftermarket. It's the same clasp that you'd get on a Seamaster. The watch's winding mechanism feels smooth and it runs really well. The specs on non-chronometer grade watches from Omega state that they have an accuracy range of minus one to plus 10 seconds per day if memory serves. And in my experience, the watch keeps time well within that range. Oh yeah, and of course, if you've never seen it, the watch's case back is engraved, celebrating the fact that this is the first watch on the moon, and of course, it also has the Omega signed crown with the embossed Omega logo. Overall, this is an outstanding watch. It's in near mint condition and about as nice of a pre-owned example as you're likely to find. With the upgraded clasp and the extra strap, along with the cost of shipping included, I think that the $4,000 asking price is more than fair, but of course, feel free to message me if you want to make an offer. You can always email me at justbluefish at gmail.com if you're interested in the watch and you want to talk about it. All right, well, that'll do it for today, guys. Thank you for tuning in and thanks to everyone that has reached out to me lately to check in and see how I've been doing during my absence from YouTube. I will be back with regularly scheduled uploads soon, so hang in there. I hope you are all doing well. I hope that your family and loved ones are happy and healthy, and I hope you're all taking care of yourselves. So until the next one, I'll go ahead, sign off, and say bye now.